everybody, it's Amanda from scrimpingmama.co.uk. Thanks for joining me. And today I'm going to be making a, you know, a traditional type of Christmas decoration. Um, it's not a new design. It's a, it's a very old idea. But I'm going to be using the Merry Music um, DSP, which is new in the Art and Winter catalogue. And you, it's beautiful. It's slightly lighter weight than standard DSP. Um, and for this project that is absolutely ideal I'll just give you a quick flick I have shown it before but it is beautiful you're getting black as well as white it's stunning and I will show you quickly and uh, depending on when this video goes out um, I may well have shown you this already you can uh, stain it this is tea staining you can coffee stain you can ink it you can do what you want with it it doesn't have to stay white or you can keep it as is, there's lots you can do with this, lots and lots and lots uh, and today I'm going to make a Christmas wreath so um, now it takes quite a lot of pieces to make a Christmas wreath I'll just quickly show you, you make little cones you know and you go around in a circle but this is really good value for money, you get 24 sheets of 12 by 12 um, you know and it's, it's just over £11 so you're going to get a lot out of it and we're going to do a small wreath anyway, so that, um, you know, your money goes a bit further <laughs> and you don't have to make quite as many cones. So I'm just using one I've got to hand. I'm improvising and I'm using a sellotape, sellotape reel, and I'm just going to draw around that. And this thick weight cardboard, almost chipboard, it's quite heavy. This is, um, I keep these from the back of DSPs, a lot of the DSPs when they're compact have got cardboard at the back, some are white and some are this heavy, almost chipboard style and I keep them and I've got a great big stack of them, um, I've got loads, but I don't, you know, it's going to come in handy isn't it, it's as simple as that, so then you just cut your, cut your circle, uh, out, doesn't even matter if it's not completely perfect uh, you could if you've got large circle dies you could perhaps die cut your circle uh, but you're going to cover it anyway it doesn't nobody's going to see the back so if it's not perfect it doesn't matter it's just a guide really more than anything and the good thing about these wreaths is that they if you look after them they can be put away and used year on year and uh, they look amazing so I've started making some cones already and um, basically what we will do is we will go around with one size and then we'll make another size so all I have done for this larger size for the outer layer is I have cut two sheets of 12 by 12 into 4 by 4 squares and I'll keep going round until the first circle is done and if needs be, um, I'll add some more. And then I'll go down in increments and sizes. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to cut some more pieces. I'll just quickly show you how we make the cone shape. Although, you know, I'm sure most of you already know. And one thing I've also, I'm also going to do is, because the paper's double-sided, I'm going to do some on one side and some on the other. And when I glue them down, I will alternate them. And then you're getting more interest. Okay? So... To make your cone it's very simple you hold it corner to corner and you just gently go around like so give it a bit of a curl and then all I've done is I have very carefully on here and down here added snail because it's lightweight paper the snail will hold it perfectly fine or you can glue it or you could use tear tape you can do what you want and just get hold of it and just roll it like so so that you've got a cone shape and that's all you do so I'm going to go away and I'm going to make enough to go around my circle and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to attach them I won't be a minute 
Okay, so here we are. I'm ready to apply layer one. Um, I will count how many cones and the sizes that I've used at the end and I'll put the numbers on my blog so that you know exactly how many to use. So in my circle here, I've measured one and a quarter inch inwards and then I found a circle which just happened to be the inside of this uh, double sided tape here. And that's just going to give me a rough guide so that when I'm gluing these down I can keep them going in a circular way. Right, so when we're gluing them down, we just need to flatten them a little bit, just a little bit, um, to just spread it out a bit. And then we're just, I'm using hot glue. Oops, my glue stick's falling out. And we're going to glue them all the way around. We don't want it completely flat, but just a little bit. Let me just get my glue stick to stay in. And as I said before, I'm going to alternate the different patterns and these will just glue in next to each other, like so. Super quick. Anybody can do this. Um, you can do it with any papers, really. Um, I just think that this music paper really lends itself well to this project to coin a phrase from my friend Kay who says that a lot on her videos <laughs> uh, so you just keep going around and around until you filled your circle it's really as simple as that and then you go down in size and the next layer you make smaller simple as that Really? I'll do a few more and then I'll come back when I am on my next layer. Uh, because you don't want to sit here and watch me stick cones on for 20 minutes. <laughs> Be back soon. Okay, so what I've done now is I have um, cut 16 of these and these measure three by three so they're just an inch smaller because these are four by four and I did use 15 of these now the amount that you use will may differ to me uh, it depends how tightly you glue them on it depends how big you do your circle I used 15 so in between each space means I need 16 and I've done eight of the music paper white ones and I've done eight of the black uh, which is snowflake with music inside and I'm going to glue these alternately um, in between each one and again I'm using my glue gun if I end up with an odd number I'm not too worried hopefully maybe I won't <laughs> but we'll see but I'm going to go quite into the centre here um, and again, I can press it down a bit if I want. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to do these alternately until my the centre of my wreath is full. And then we're going to decorate the very centre of it and put a ribbon on it. So let's just keep going. Okay, so now the wreath is all done. I'm going to decorate the centre. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and I've cut two shapes from the um, lots of labels, um, I think it is, <laughs> the uh, die set and I'm going to use this sentiment from Carols of Christmas and it says deck the halls and I'm just going to, in keeping, I'm going to go with my black and white theme so I'm going to use basic black. on there and I'm going to use my good mat to try and help me get it straight and hope it stamps nicely uh, try not to get my big head in the in the frame I should have stamped this and then die cut it really but not to worry let's hope it stamps nice there we go look at that how stunning and bold is that Right, so I'll just leave that to dry one minute and it's stuck to my mat because I've got glue and all sorts on here. Right, so I'll move that ink out of the way before I stick my arm in it. I want that to dry very, very quickly. 
and I'll just carefully put Tombow on the back. And hope that it doesn't smudge. I've got my glue gun on still. Yep, that's done nicely. Layer that up. And the black and white together just looks awesome. Okay. I don't want that ink to smudge, else I'm going to cry. Okay, that should be all right. Uh, so I'm going to bring my wreath in and I have also cut two just random strands of the mini sequins. You can see them just to add a bit of sparkle and I'm using silver and black. And I'm just going to hold them all together and then I'm just going to put them together like so. I'm going to hopefully have some glue left in my glue gun. I'm going to add some, I'll add it in the centre. Just a blob of hot glue in the centre there. And I'm going to just carefully add my sequins so that they dangle down just for a bit of fancy. Hold that while the glue dries. bit more glue there because it doesn't want to stick for some reason. Stick it back in. If you don't have hot glue, wet glue would work. It will just you'll just need to wait a little bit longer for it to dry. Right, that's in. And so now I'm going to actually hot glue my sentiment. You could probably use dimensionals, but I'm going for speed. Why not? Glue guns on, I might as well use it. Plenty on. And get it in the centre. And just hold it while it dries. Pull those so they're central. And then just for a finishing touch, I've made a little double bow out of the silver... What's it called? Uh, metallic edge ribbon and I'm just going to attach it do I want it there? I'll attach it in the centre there look, a bit more hot glue attach it there in the centre where my sequins are dangling like so and then I just need a loop for the back um, I'm just going to use some of this random ribbon from my own personal stash because it's nice and thick and I'm just going to make a loop and I'm going to just literally glue it on the back so if we say that's the centre hot glue is wonderful stuff it's very very quick very very easy and you can attach that to a little hanging hook. You could make your loop longer if you so desire. Do what you want. And there you go. There's your lovely Merry Music Christmas wreath. I hope you like that. I hope you'll give it a try. It's awesome fun. Uh, put them on your mantelpiece in your hallway, on your door, wherever, <gasps> but awesome, awesome fun and I think it looks really, really stunning in the black and white. You can also do it in other colours. Uh, give it a try. Thanks for watching.